Thanks, uh, Richard. So, uh, uh, so over the next 15 minutes, I will share uh, with you my uh, observations of the uh, threats uh, from irresponsible aquaculture operations uh, to shorebirds uh, in the uh, Yellow Sea Coral region, and those are pretty still preliminary. And uh, but I will also uh, discuss uh, uh, with you about uh, some potential pathways we could uh, collectively uh, make some uh, good differences. So uh, for this year, there are many uh, uh, unique or first uh, in the human history, and the uh, one, one of that is that we are, for the first time, eating more farmed uh, fish and shellfish uh, than uh, those we harvest from the wild. That was uh, uh, never the case over the human history, when pretty much the fishing activity has been accompanying us for the entire uh, human civilization development. Uh, and aquaculture is expected to uh, become an increasingly more important uh, uh, provider uh, of a source of protein uh, as it can be, uh, if managed uh, respons responsibly or well, it can be more effective than animal husband husbandry uh, and fowl husbandry, uh, for example. Uh, but uh, right now, the huge, the fast de development of the aquaculture sector, particularly uh, in the along the e uh, East Asia Australasian flyway countries, uh, uh, has a huge uh, and underestimated often uh, environmental or ecological cost. So, taking a uh, example of the Yellow Sea, and uh, I think one uh, kind of a really unique characteristic of the Yellow Sea Coral region is that the, uh, it is the most intensively uh, farmed uh, seas uh, probably along this, uh, this flyway and across the world. Uh, taking a, a look at this uh, uh, maybe a, a hundred uh, kilometers long kind of a shoreline, uh, by linear distance you will, you will see uh, so I get this uh, North Yellow Sea kind of a Google map from uh, uh, from the the Yellow River estuary from the uh, right side from the east, which is the, the uh, critical uh, Barfield Fortress and Great Knot habitat, uh, as we all know, and uh, the Zhuanghe estuary and the Shicheng Island or Islet uh, on the left or west, which is a uh, fairly important. Uh, Feeding and and the and the breeding site uh, for a small population of the uh, uh, black-faced uh, smallbill, and you can see uh, along the coastline there's hardly any natural coastline, and all those uh, small squares are uh, uh, actually uh, farms uh, for either fish or shellfish, shrimp, uh, sea cucumber, uh, etc. So uh, if you are a uh, shorebird uh, coming across a long distance from the uh, uh, Australia and New Zealand, and uh, uh, what you fear most or worry most would be a shortage of the uh, disappearance of the uh, of, uh, roosting area, uh, foraging ground, and the uh, shortage of food. Uh, and unfortunately, unchecked uh, irresponsible aquaculture operations can make those uh, uh, nightmares uh, come very true for birds. And uh, here's a set of uh, uh, photos I regularly share, uh, taken by a photographer friend, uh, Mr. Zhou Haixiang. That's back in 2005. Uh, this area is uh, very uh, close to the Zhuanghe estuary I showed on the uh, west side of the map previously. You can see how Critically important this uh, this site uh, was to uh, shorebirds, and uh, certainly that indicate abundance of uh, food, primarily uh, in vertebrates. Uh, and this area is also uh, nurturing a, a, a bountiful uh, local population of uh, fishers. They used to harvest uh, uh, clams, uh, and they, uh, there's a little food competition because the fishers, they do this uh, stock enhancement based uh, clam fishery and the uh, aquaculture, they harvest uh, the good size, the manila clam and a few other clam species. And they leave the smaller ones and other unwanted species uh, 
on or in the mud flat, uh, and those are primarily uh, certainly prey for uh, for the shorebirds. Uh, until three years ago, that's in 2008, uh, for the same venue, the entire area got destroyed. The hill uh, got removed and uh, and uh, used to fill out the, the intertidal area and and also down to the uh, pretty far to the uh, to the uh, lower tidal uh, tidal area. And uh, so because of, and uh, the uh, farm the, the species that uh, that are driven this uh, this uh, uh, kind of a coastal reclamation for aquaculture pond building mania was uh, uh, sea cucumber. And back then there's a huge market need uh, of sea cucumber and the, 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 the kind of a need uh, lasted until recently. And uh, because of this uh, reason, we gave a, a bad rating uh, from our uh, independent science-based and evidence-based uh, uh, seafood sustainability performance assessment. Uh, our primary reasons or concerns of this uh, sea cucumber pond-based aquaculture is this uh, huge, e almost irreversible habitat impact. Uh, and, uh, and also uh, for those of you who probably uh, didn't notice uh, the widespread of uh, uh, pervasive use of uh, uh, pesticides and, uh, and herb herbicides, many are uh, prohibited by law, uh, illegal practice. And as a result, they, uh, their impact to wildlife, in particularly to uh, shorebirds and some seabirds are huge. So we gave a, a red rating and uh, when we did this uh, uh, over almost a year ago, we got challenged by our, some of our consumer readers and uh, some of uh, of our report and uh, and uh, in particular some uh, seafood uh, uh, sorry some uh, sea cucumber uh, farming industry uh, people and they uh, they protested and complained that we uh, did not tell the truth. But until uh, earlier this year, this summer, uh, the CCTV, the Chinese national uh, television, broadcasted the news that uh, uh, and released the. The kind of a concerning uh, fact uh, that uh, the, there is a, a wide use of uh, uh, DDVP, one of the chemicals we documented uh, in uh, sea cucumber palm. Although the CCTV broadcast is uh, primarily driven by the, the concern of the food safety issue, but we think that we see there's a, there's a much stronger kind of a safety concern uh, or security issue for the uh, ecological environment, particularly the, the coastal wetlands. Uh, and uh, kind of equally uh, concerning is the, uh, uh, is the uh, razor clam aquaculture. Although uh, they, to a less degree, uh, the razor clam farm is a stock enhancement based aquaculture. It doesn't uh, uh, take the a toll on the coastal wetland themselves. Uh, but having said that, they also have a, a wide uh, range of the uh, use of uh, illegal chemicals. And uh, to the uh, farmers, some farmers uh, kill uh, all the coastal, uh, all the mudflat invertebrates they perceive as uh, uh, natural predators or competitors to their uh, baby razor clams before they do the seeding. Uh, each year, uh, depending on the time from uh, uh, spring to uh, to summer or fall, and this uh, is perceived to have a potential huge uh, impact uh, to shorebirds, who also uh, has have to uh, prey on those uh, invertebrates. Uh, and these are the uh, collection of the uh, just to show you the the wide range of uh, uh, illegal. Uh, Pesticides uh, being recorded used in this uh, in those uh, uh, farms or operations, uh, although there are illegal ones, and uh, there are, uh, notably there are less harmful harmful ones from uh, like the camellia seed, uh, at least with the more uh, irreversible kind of uh, consequences. Uh, 
uh, and uh, so having shared all those uh, dreadful situations, are there uh, good practitioners? There, there are. So one of the organic uh, traditional salt uh, farm uh, or salt pan and uh, and also in the meantime, organic shrimp producer. So uh, they, uh, uh, this uh, operator uh, is uh, smart enough to differentiate their uh, business by uh, using zero uh, chemicals in their salt and, uh, uh, and uh, shrimp uh, production. And they uh, they uh, informed uh, us, the assessors, that they are happy to uh, they feed the, their shrimp primarily uh, depending on the brown shrimps uh, uh, in those uh, uh, pond uh, salt pan system, and uh, uh, they uh, they uh, doesn't they don't mind having uh, some uh, seabirds or uh, even shorebirds uh, of uh, birds of water birds of prey to take some of their shrimps, because often the birds of prey take the Seek the shrimps uh, out of the water, and that help uh, prevent uh, shrimp disease from uh, from happening or from uh, spreading up. And they use those uh, uh, good photos from their farms, uh, indicating a harmony of uh, uh, their farm and nature to uh, uh, promote their uh, shrimp as organic product. And they got ASC certified. Uh, and for those of you who uh, I'm not familiar with the ASC Aquaculture Stewardship Council. So this is a market-based uh, and a science-based uh, tool uh, underpinned by a set of uh, uh, a strict uh, environmental uh, standard uh, system uh, with uh, with the seven uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, key principles, uh, including principle two is a uh, 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 little or, uh, or minimal biodiversity loss. Uh, and with this uh, consumer recognizable uh, eco label, uh, and uh, although uh, established by WWF only a little more than ten years ago, ASC has a uh, pretty strong influence in this uh, already in this uh, East Asia Australasian flyway region uh, in the Yellow Sea region as well. We uh, already got uh, so ASC already got. Uh, over 20 farms certified uh, as uh, environmentally friendly and socially responsible. And a, a, a few farms uh, is around the Yellow Sea Core region, including the uh, salt pan uh, slash uh, organic shrimp farm I showed you before. So this is a way that can allow us to engage the farmers to work towards a more bird friendly uh, future. And in the meantime, we uh, want to, so the certification is just for individual farms, how to raise the wider awareness of the, uh, of the consumers, the public, the industry, the seafood industry, and the uh, governmental decision makers. So my own, uh, my organization together with all the colleagues, uh, uh, we are running the China Seafood Sustainability Assessment uh, exercise. Uh, and uh, in hope of uh, generating more uh, scientific evidences uh, to uh, draw more attention, understanding, and, uh, and uh, hopefully catalyzing some actions of uh, positive changes from all key stakeholders. And uh, so uh, what can we uh, work together to make, uh, make a stronger difference? Uh, we need absolutely more undeniable scientific evidences of how uh, the impact of uh, irresponsible aquaculture is to the flyway, to shoppers, and, uh, and how, uh, what are the positive contributions from responsible aquaculture producers. And that uh, will need us, like the professional, uh, more or less seafood, sustainable seafood uh, organizations to work closely with uh, you, the, uh, the great shorebird coastal wetland scientist here. 